Hi folks, Mike Carrera here. Online you know me as Mike the Car Guy. Today I'd like to talk to you about getting socially savvy at the sales desk. You know, it's no secret that the car business has been painfully slow to embrace the power of digital and its marketing and advertising. Social media is something that's here. It's been here for a long time, but for whatever reason, the car business has just kind of been wanting to ignore it and put it to the side. So much so that the manufacturers are now really starting to put pressure on dealerships to get involved socially, to post, to engage, and build communities. And if they're unwilling to do it themselves because they're too busy or they just don't have time or they don't understand, there's companies out there that they recommend post for you and and manage your social media about 10 years ago I got caught by the social media bug and to be honest with you it's just fascinating to me it's a passion I've tried to embrace as much as I could digitally and really fit my dealerships presence into the various forums profiles media sites that I've joined and try to make it work for the dealership that I've been working at and I've been fairly successful at it. I'm not here to say I'm a guru. I'll never say that word. I'll never say I'm an expert. I'll never say that I'm an authority figure in social media. But the brand I've built and the performance I've been able to gain for the dealerships that I've worked at speaks for itself. So what I'd like to do is share with you at Digital Dealer some of the things that made me successful and made my dealership successful and grew businesses right from the sales desk. A lot of t people say, well, I'm too busy. I'll just pay a third party, party company to do the posting for us. But if you're not managing it, who knows what they're posting in little cat videos and alligator memes that are funny. It's just passe. It's, it's done. We're, we're over that. Customers don't like it. They see through it. They know that it's, it's just fake. It's just an attempt to get people to like or share it. And it doesn't even get shared anymore. So it's not working. If you're going to really maintain and, and take control of the destiny of your dealership, you got to get involved socially. And if I can do it from the sales desk while I'm desking deals, chasing stips, hanging contracts, appraising trades, managing a sales team, training salespeople, if I can grow a company from a Facebook page of 877 likes to 9,400, if I can take uh, and sell four cars on Instagram without even trying, I don't market my Instagram feed as a sales tool, but I've sold four cars on Instagram. If I can do it, you can do it. So bring a yellow pad to Digital Dealer. Make sure you get to the getting socially savvy at the sales desk session with Mike the Car Guy. And I'm going to give you some takeaways that you can go back to your dealership that day, not pay a company or not something else, some complicated thing that you can't wrap your head around because I'm a car guy. I speak your language. I'm going to give you some tips and techniques that you can take with you to your dealership that day you get back and start changing your social media strategies. Things like getting your customer base engaged, getting your own employee base engaged. You got a huge content generating tool that works right for you and you want to employ them to help you grow your business. There's a lot of reasons people don't help their companies, don't want to even list their company on their, their profile. They don't want to fill out that little employed at section on their Facebook profile because they're afraid their friends or neighbors are going to see that they work at a car dealership. I'm going to show you how to change that and I'm going to show you how to really manage your social presence and grow it. And if you're still wanting to pay an outside company to do it, I'm going to show you how to make sure that you hold their feet to the fire so they're working for you, not the manufacturer who's also paying them. So like I said, Mike the Car Guy, digital dealer, getting socially savvy at the sales desk. It's worth your time. Thank you.